to our secret venue where we are about to premiere the UK entry for the Eurovision Song Contest this year. <laughs> Having heard the song in rehearsal this afternoon, I can tell you we are in for an absolute treat this year. Before we hear the song though, let's meet <laughs> Bobby. She's the singer and also the writer, and I caught up with her this afternoon in a break from rehearsals. So Molly, how long have you been writing and recording for? I've been writing since I was about kind of 11 or 12, really. Mm -hmm. And then um, I started recording when I was about 15. Mm -hmm. So quite a long time. Now, obviously, you came through um, BBC Introduce. For people that don't know what that is, maybe you could describe like how this came to be today. OK. BBC Introducing is amazing. It's, um, it's a platform for aspiring like artists basically whether you're a songwriter or a band or whatever you know it's really really hard to get music out there to get it played get on the radio yeah. yeah it's the hardest thing in the world um so this is a platform set by the bbc for anyone um if you're unsigned it's, it's so easy you upload your tracks you make a profile for yourself and then it goes to your local radio stations and if they like it they'll, they'll play it so who was your champion um a guy called dean jackson He's based in the East Midlands area, which I'm from Leicester. On BBC Local Radio? Yes. So he's always been a chap. He's played quite a few of my tracks, actually, over the years. And do you know what? It, when you're kind of struggling away, doing it on your own, and you're not signed, and it can be a real like struggle, and you're trying to fund it all yourself, mm. like getting those little radio plays or getting someone like that supporting you, it just means everything. It just gives you that, that motivation mm. and that confidence to think, you know what, this is, you know, I am doing the right thing. And a lot of people have been discovered that way, like yeah. Florence the Machine, yeah, amazing. Uh, Jake Bug yeah. recently as well. Mm, um, yeah. And a lot of people who have come up through BBC Introducing even get to play on the Introducing stage at various festivals like Glastonbury. That's the dream. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's incredible. Get me thing. to Glastonbury, get me to Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm obsessed with is what you told me earlier, which is you've had to keep this quiet from your friends <laughs> and family for weeks now. Yeah. And they're turning up here tonight. Um, and they just think that they're seeing a gig of yours. <laughs> yeah. And they don't even know that you're the UK entry no. for Eurovision this year. No. What are they going to be like? I've got no idea. I'm quite scared. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know anything at all? No. They, they, some of them are getting a bit suspicious because I've been quite pushy, particularly my family from back home. In Leicester. I mean, obviously, I'm gigging all the time. Mm. I'm never really trying to get them down, particularly my 91-year-old grandmother. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, but I'm like, you really need to come to this one. And they're like, why? They're just... Like, what's going on? What do you think your family are going to say? They'll probably swear, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think I think they'll be like majorly happy. I mean, yeah. they've kind of supported me since I was mm. a little girl, and I think anything like this, they'll just be over the moon. I mean, it's a big deal, isn't it? We're going to show people your family's reaction a bit later on because I think it's worth seeing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did you want to write for the contest and, and why because it's, it's important for us to say that this track has been specifically written for the contest yeah. this year um well i wanted it i wanted to be true to myself most of all as a songwriter and an artist so um i just wanted to write a song that really meant something to me that i thought would connect with everybody so obviously this is a dream situation for a songwriter because i'm putting a song out there that i've written to a lot of people yeah. so it'd be, I'd, I'd love to think that they, they get it and yeah they feel empowered and yeah what are you most looking forward to about Eurovision is there anything you're really excited about am I getting you excited for it because yeah, it's my favourite thing you really really are um, yeah I, I mean now obviously I've been working on this I didn't realise it was such a big machine and there was so much going on and you know, everyone's just so excited. Everyone who's been before is like, it is the most fun yeah. ever. It's the most fun week <laughs> of my year. No doubt. I love that. Yeah. I was really surprised actually when I was approached by the BBC about sort of, you know, trying this. I touched on it with a few of my closest friends, and uh, some of them looked really cool. And, and I thought they'd be really like, oh, don't. You know, <laughs> don't do that. All of them were like, oh my god, you have to do it. <laughs> and they're like, oh, and if you get it, can we come and leave our flags? <laughs> right, so you've got, you've got like the, the, the kind of approval of your, yeah. your cool friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've met the singer. Do you want to hear the song? Please welcome with her first ever live performance of Children of the Universe. This is Molly. <laughs> 